Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, hello, my name is Hannah, and I am a bit of a beauty blogger slash tutorialist, if that's a word, we're gonna go with it. Anyway, today I have kind of an oddball uh, testing, makeup testing that we're gonna do today, and it is testing 7-Eleven makeup. If you don't know what 7-Eleven is, it's kind of just a convenience store uh, where you can get junk food sodas and random other stuff and they just randomly started carrying makeup under the name of simply me beauty so i'll be honest i've had this stuff for a little bit i've just been very apprehensive in trying it so today i'm going to bite the bullet we're going to dive in and we are going to do a full face testing all right guys so also if you like this video if you like my content don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell below if you want a notification every time I post a video and don't forget to follow me on my other social media as well so Twitter snapchat Instagram and Pinterest all right guys let's dive on in alrighty so the first thing we have is the simply me concealer it's just in the shade of light and I did pick up a beauty blender now this thing it's already wet but it is it's a dense blender so let's see how this works so the wand it's just it's very narrow not a lot to it. It's like probably the most generic application wand I've ever seen. And uh, their shades are a little off. This says light. This is like not light. <laughs> this is very much like a n neutral beige. It has really yellow undertones in it. It's definitely darker than what is advertised. <laughs> All right, so I got it on my main zones, and let's go ahead and use the blender and try and get this blended in. Oh. So this blender in particular does nothing but just pick up the product and remove it from your face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the small little Beauty Blender brand blender that I have and see if I can get this stuff to change because this thing this thing has already failed it's just yeah it's bad <laughs> so it's not going on terribly it's just like i said it's much darker it's definitely not light <laughs> and it's very very yellow it's kind of like it's yellow it's like it, I don't know what it is. I don't. I, mm, let me see, this is why I was apprehensive to try it. But the, for YouTube, for YouTube, I will try anything once. So I would say the coverage is minimal at best. It, it basically, it basically did nothing except turn me off color. Good job, Simply Me Cosmetics. You have learned to make a very terrible concealer. Okay. I'll be really excited to throw this away, actually. <laughs> Alright, so to try and help this hot mess already happening, we are going to use the Matte Translucent Powder. This is in an unidentified shade, so it was just probably the lightest one that I saw there, and I figured, okay, we'll try it. Let's see, what do these compacts come with any? Oh, they do. These compacts come with a little sponge. So we'll try with the sponge because frankly, I don't want to use my brushes on this stuff. Okay. Now see, this is what light looks like. Guys, this is definitely not a translucent powder. There's definitely a pigment to it. And uh, it goes on like cake. And it could just be because the applicator I'm using but it's still the yellow from the concealer still shines through. I know the camera doesn't show it well. The guys looking in my mirror, oh boy. This is just gonna be a, a mess of a tutorial, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Yeah, at least this, like, allows for some coverage. Mm -hmm. 
So you do feel cakey in it. You feel the makeup on your face and that's not necessarily a good thing. Um, oh, there is a little mirror on the compact. Look at that. So it, and it's, it's definitely noticeable. It's not like a translucent powder which just goes on and makes all your liquid cover up. They all finished. Now this brand, I didn't, when I was there, I didn't see like a cover up. I just saw a ton of BB cream because I was kind of on a budget at the time and I didn't really want to invest a hundred bucks into 7-Eleven products. I kind of like, let's limit this and see what we can work with. So then the next product I have is apparently their Radiant Highlighter and it looks like a shade deeper for a contour. So, oh, and it comes with a little brush as well. Again, the compact still has a mirror. So this brush, as you can assume, feels like hay. It is the roughest brush I've ever felt. Even like fakey kitty makeup that you can get like at the dollar store have brushes that feel better than this. <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure what the yellow is, but I am thinking this is meant to be a uh, contour and this is supposed to be a highlight. I don't know why they went with a yellow pigment, but oh, the brush. Oh no. This is, this is noticeable, like, can you see that? Oh no. Alright, let's try and get like some definition here. So, what I'm assuming is supposed to be the contour side of this thing. It has no pigment to it whatsoever. Like, it's subtle, but it, it's it's not really there. Bleh. Guys. Oh god, this is like, this is such a bright yellow. Why, why yellow? Who was the director of this? 7-Eleven Endeavor because they need to fix themselves like really bad. Okay. Okay, we're, no, we're done with this. We're, we're done with you. We're done trying to figure out what the hell that is. So, I pretty much just look really pale and really tired right now. So, I'm just gonna try and save this a little bit by adding a little bit of my own blush just to get some color in my face. And even that's not working. I don't know. It's just, I literally woke up 10 minutes ago or what? Okay, there we go. Good. I, I got some rosiness in my cheeks. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's play with the brow kit. Now, I bought this when I still have full head of dark brown hair. So I'm, I'm going to have some, like, Groucho eyebrows here in a second. It has a definite gel side and a powder. It's gel powder. That powder's black. Like, I don't know. Usually when you get a gel powder duo, it's like a light gel and a slightly darker darker powder, not two completely different pigments. So, and this, this little brush, it's, it's special. Okay. So the brow, the gel actually fills in pretty nicely. not too much of an embarrassment like the rest of this product so yeah it fills in pretty good um the powder I have a feeling is just gonna be super dark Yeah, usually when I have gel, I use it for my full thing, so I just like the lighter color. Oh yeah, you add the black in there, it immediately <laughs> darkens it up. Oh, okay, so my, my, hmm. this is why I'm filming very early today, so I can wash this off and put a real face on. Oh, oh okay. All right. Let's play with the eyes. Apparently... I was feeling the heavy metal palette that they have. So 
This is not the heavy metal pile from Urban Decay, guys. It's definitely not. Okay. So, I can't even open it. I don't know if it's my thumbnail's too long or I'm just having a special moment. Come on. There we go. Alright. I don't really want to use my brushes on this, but I'm going to. Alright, let's use the white shade to get a base color down. And then we're going to go in with the blue-gray, work it into the crease in the highbrow bone. So there's definitely some pigment to it. It's not god-awful, but it's not great. I mean, when your silver and your white basically looks the same. All right, let's play with the navy blue. Apparently I'm going for the drama today. Got a nice... Okay, see the navy blue looks like dark gray. Like what the heck? I'm starting to think like with makeup coming up and up and being more of a popular like hobby for people, I think 7 Long was just trying to cash in on that cash cow. I didn't really think about the products they're putting out because this is not navy blue, this is a dark gray. Dark gray. This is the least navy blue thing I've ever put on my face. Okay, let's... Is that a little black? Oof. Oof. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Try and blend it out to make it not look as crazy. Like, the color doesn't go where you want it to go. <sighs> Alright, so I've got two big gray eyes. That is what I was able to accomplish. Maybe I should have played with the brown to get some difference. And I am frankly sorry you had to witness this. So let me see <laughs> if the eyeliner can help save the day here. Well, it's got a new, good new pen. It's got a, you know, decent something going on with it. So let's see if we can get like a decent wing going. Okay, the eyeliner, it's not terrible. Look at that. That was a pretty good line. It actually has a lot of product that comes out in the felt. It has a nice fine tip. I will not judge this eyeliner. I might actually keep this eyeliner. Well, aside from the fact that I have two different wings going on. The eyeliner saved the look a little bit, but I still just have two very large gray eyes. With no distinction in color whatsoever. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Alright, let's play with the mascara. 
Oh, okay, so it's got just a very long standard brush. Product smells a little funky. The bristles are actually pretty nice. They're nice and separated. So. All right, okay, the mascara's not bad. It's not terrible. It's easily workable. Gives good enough length, gives good enough lift. It's it's sufficient for a three dollar mascara from a convenience store. Okay, last thing that I picked up is a bright red lip crayon, because with this crazy look, why not have red? All right, I'm afraid. I'm actually very afraid for this. It is not the worst shade of red in the world. It's actually very... <laughs> oh, it's a surprisingly nice shade. I just don't like a satin finish. I don't like lipsticks. I like mattes. So I'm just like... Ew. But... All in all, guys, no matter how desperate you are, no matter how late you are and you forgot to put on makeup, do not go to 7-Eleven. And do... <laughs> do not do this to yourself. <laughs> The facial products, they feel honestly just awful on my skin right now. I'm just waiting for the impending breakout. Um, and the eyeshadow is not blendable at all. It all looks like the same color in lighter shades. Like, I tried a white, a gray, a navy blue, and a black, and it all just turned out bleh, gray. Like, okay. While I did like the eyeliner, I probably, like I said, I'll probably keep it. It was easily workable, and I really did like the mascara. It was good enough. Um... The lipstick, the pigment's great. It's actually a great shade of red, but I just don't like the formula. I don't like the satin finish, and I don't like that it's long wear. I'm definitely, you know, not the type of person that wants to reapply my lipstick every five minutes because I can barely stay in the lines as it is. <laughs> so, like I said, no way in your life should you ever be desperate enough to have to buy 7-Eleven makeup. At least we'll hope not. <laughs> so guys, long story short, most of this is going to be disposed of because frankly, I don't want it cluttering up my desk and I never going to use it again. It was a funny idea that turned out just awful. And it's, it's funny because I'm looking in my camera screen and it doesn't look nearly as bad as it does in person. Like, Ugh, I wish you guys could be in the full in ugh, vicinity of my disgust right now. But all in all, guys, this was a funny video. This was fun. And I actually have to, for real, get ready for my day and plan up some new videos for you guys. So do not forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. And make sure you follow me on my other social medias. Like I said earlier, I have a Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, and Instagram. And I'm fairly active. <laughs> I'm trying to be. I'm getting back into school, so I've been super focused on that lately. But all in all, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you here next time.